Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Heart Of. So, today I want to talk about physical media and why I love it. So, a question I get asked quite frequently, well, not much of a question, is why do you have all this stuff? Can't you stream it? Can't you digitally purchase it? Um, And this goes for books, comics, games, and movies. Now, I'll go with easiest defense for games well some games you can't you just can't digitally download same thing for movies some movies they don't have digitally and i i from a space point of view i get it but there's you know something about going back and reviewing old media whether that's old games and movies and being able to one play it or watch it in the way they had initially released it there's something um tangible and really comforting to me about that and sometimes that's the only way you can experience it so for example there's a movie called mirror mask that you can't really go back and watch like that there's a movie called moon child that i've yet to i mean you can digitally illegally download them but just to have it like an official capacity, um, that's not that's not something you can do. So one, it's easy that way. Two, there's for me, there's that collector's element of it, like where when you put together a collection, whatever it might be, physical, it's almost like this is the stuff that I connect most with, and you're almost like inviting someone into your head when it comes to the media you consume and i think there's always something really cool with that and there's an element that i always love about tangibleness where like you can physically touch it hold it look at it so with games what i always loved was like for example when you open the case and you crack open a fresh case back then whether it was ps1 to PS2, that manual, you get to flip, that was like your first notes of the piece, where you get to really like kind of look at the world and aesthetic they've created, and then like when you get to put it in, and I don't know, there's something really, to me, comforting about going back and taking that disc and putting it into a console, or taking that movie you're sliding in, and and even going to books, there's something where... I know Kindle exists. I know, you know, you can get things on your phone. There are apps for comics, but, or books, but there's something of like, I just read this. You have to read this. And, and putting that in someone's hands and, and having a physical, you know, getting to see like opening the first page and the, the art of the cover and, and everything. It's incredible. Now, the only thing I don't necessarily have physical things anymore and that's just because of technologies literally just made it like where it's what's the point is um music i used to have a lot of cds but like you know now the ones i have i keep onto are keepsakes so for example i have like the metal gear solid 2 soundtrack um some coheed albums my friend gave me that i think are incredible that i could put in my xbox and play a speaker that i think are really cool um and that's that's the only one beat this because like the nature of the iphone and or any smartphone but like even there where like album art is is a dying thing that that level of packaging the artistic talent that has to go into that so um for for example, for Japanese comics, for manga, there they have these really cool box sets that you can get for certain series. So, for example, I have the box sets for One Piece. So I have the first three box sets. And just how each box looks like a different kind of treasure chest. And, or like, we have the box set for Chainsaw Man and how, you know, just how the art is designed around it with the characters and the silhouettes of chainsaws. Like, it's so cool. It is so cool. And, or I have like one vinyl. (laughs) And and the art is like, again, it's so cool. And 
<clears throat> being able to interact with the art you consume more than just like pressing play, I, I always found really, really cool and fascinating and comforting. And looking at like the shelf and be like, what do I want to engage with? Sometimes it's overwhelming because there's a lot, but it's like, what do I want to engage with? What do I want to play? What do I want to read? What do I want to watch? And and I think we have done as uh, as game. You know, I think game devs have not done the greatest job with you know keeping records. You know, holding on to sort of stuff. Movies have done a better job with it. You know, in terms of like updating movies to current new formats. So you save movie history, like you can go back and watch, for example, Seven Samurai still. And that's a movie that was made in the 50s. But like there are certain games that were made even going as far as the 80s that like, unless you have the physical console, the game itself, you're not playing it. And I think that that's something sad. And so to me, physical represents holding on to history. And getting to see, like, how this was released when it was released then. And so, last episode, my I did an episode on how I love Metal Gear Solid. I have, as you saw in the, the episode image, a lot of Metal Gear games. And it's, like, part partially it's part of the collection. <clears throat> and But the fact that I can go and play each one of them, none of the games in my collection are, like, are not like are just sitting not sitting there being like unplayable. They're all playable, and there's something again. <clears throat> sorry for all the clearing of the throat. There's something nostalgic of going back, putting something in, and I wish I could articulate it better. But there's something comforting of having that library, and then when someone, you know, comes over or where you're showing it to someone, and it's like this is this is what. I have this is what I feel and this is this is the stuff that I respond to and 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 just to be able to physically give something I there I have so much joy in being able to physically hand something to someone and be like check this out you gotta look at it and the amount of times I've had extras of something or an extra movie an extra game so like for example when I upgrade movies so like I have some movies I'd love to get in 4k and if I already have it in Blu-ray, I just give that version of it away. I'm like, hey, here you go. Check this out. Watch this. Enjoy this. Or, you know, with games, like borrow this. Enjoy this. And it's something where not only is it for myself, but I can let someone use it. You know, we can experience it. I can, if I'm going over someone's house, I can bring it. You know, it's it becomes a shared experience. And that, you know, keeping that work that these people did alive is to me is you know so important and even in you know going to comics engaging with it reading it like i don't mind reading the one piece chapters on my phone but there's it's not the same it'll never be the same as picking up a new volume of one piece and flipping and ripping through it and putting it down be like wow what a what a ride what an experience and and getting all the intricacies that you get in a physical release and again and then putting it on the shelf and kind of going back and looking at you know i have all the volumes currently released and it just it looks so cool to put it all together and see it you know the star wars movies looking at the saga and, and putting it together um that that's always going to be fascinating to me and and I think especially for older games like there's something really cool to me about going picking up like a PlayStation 1 game popping open the the tray putting it down and putting a memory card in and, and start playing it there's something really comforting to me about that so why do I love physical media well I love it because I think it's a window into my mind of what <clears throat> I think is really cool and what I interact with most. I think I love it because 
I love how it looks. I love the art. I love all the time that goes into the packaging. I love the manuals. I love the, the cases. I love the, the physical design of it. And I love being able to sit down with someone, bring a movie over and be like, I got this. You got to check this out. Let's put this in. Let's watch this. And even the act of going to a brick and mortar store and being like, what came out today? Let's browse. Let's look. There, there are some movies I own that I watched simply, sadly, because the case jumped out at me. Same thing with music. The art jumped out at me. There's this movie called House, a Japanese movie that came out in 1977. I love, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. I love this movie. But just the, I have uh, the shirt that's from like the Blu-ray cover. It looks incredible. It's this orange d demon cat face just staring at you. And I was so intrigued. Like, what is this about? It's the first notes of the piece. It's it's what pulls you in. It's why trailers are designed to look the way they are. It's why posters are designed to look alluring. It's it it pulls you in. And when you can't watch a movie in the optimal way, which to me is the theaters, you know, how else do you pull someone in? For me, it's the Blu-ray. For me, it's the 4K. It's like, how does this look? It's not necessarily me browsing the uh, iTunes store. Where it's so it's it's a lot to me easier to like flip by something. I'm looking at the special features. I'm looking at what the bonuses are. I'm looking at the movie itself. It, there's so many things with the physical package for games. I'm looking at the back of the box. I'm reading it. I'm listening. It the all the the things that people have put conscious effort to pull you in to see. If you don't know, like for example, I love The Last of Us. So when The Last of Us came out. I had already loved Naughty Dog because I loved Uncharted. I loved Jack and Daxter. I'm buying that game no matter what the art looks like. But like, for example, for a game I didn't know, like let's say Heavenly Sword, that art looked great. I'm I'm grabbing it. I'm bowling in. Let's let's. Who is this lone mysterious figure with the sword? Let's let's check this out. So I love physical media for a lot of reasons. Um, I know um, people think I'm crazy for it, but it's something that I'm going to continue to do. And yeah, this this is kind of a, a shorter, more concise, but at the same time all over the place episode. But it's something I always really wanted to do just to like talk about why I love physical media so much. Um, we'll get back to actual <laughs> material uh, next week. So I hope you have a good day and thanks for listening.